Welcome to BCTV's calendar coverage. I'm Roland Boyden uh, here for another edition of our Thursday webisode. Talking about uh, the weekend's upcoming events, we'll break down uh, all of the happenings with video clips. And if you're watching this on youtube.com slash Brattlebro TV, I'll mention that annotations turned on on your YouTube browser and make these uh, little uh, links clickable, as long as I can figure out where to point. Uh, so just make sure your annotations in the uh, bottom right corner of your YouTube screen are turned on and you'll be able to uh, get links to uh, our video and also to uh, the respective websites of these organizations. We can get more information. Let's launch right into it with a brief mention that uh, the Southern Vermont Scrabble Club is meeting this and every Thursday at 6 p.m. in just a matter of hours at the Marlboro Graduate Center. Uh, you can uh, get more information on that by looking up the Southern Vermont Scrabble Club at ibrattlebro.com. We'll move on now and talk about uh, one of this weekend's biggest events here in Brattlebro. I'm going to get better at this pointing thing. There we go. You can click uh, any one of these uh, daily links uh, to the African Dance and Drum Festival here in Brattlebro at the Stone Church. Uh, just north of the post office on Main Street here in town. The festival encompasses dance classes, drum classes, and a big performance on Saturday night. We started with uh, bringing Caro Diallo uh, here from Senegal, who is an incredible master dance teacher, and he inspired us to uh, create this festival. Uh, it all starts tomorrow, Friday, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and will go through the evening all day Saturday and then it continues on Sunday. And all the information about the classes and festivals on that website, africandancevt.com. You can head to that website mentioned to find out more about each of the, the individual events or get involved with all of this weekend's African Drum and Dance Festival. And uh, if you like what you see, you can continue to be involved. There's classes all the way through the fall. We've got a flyer that will pop up on the screen. This has a little bit more information on some of Cara's instruction. Uh, in the meantime, I'll move on and block just a tiny bit of Thursday. I apologize for those of you interested in the 20 seconds still. In the meantime, let's head chronologically uh, further down the Saturday slot here on the 24th at 5 p.m. where uh, in Putney, Vermont, Sun Farm and the Clean Energy Collective welcome local businesses and individuals to the opening of Vermont's first community-owned solar garden in Putney. That includes a guided tour and a array of other information. There's going to be a uh, Vermont table catering, games, face paintings. You can bring the kids, all like that. We've got more info, so let's hit the video. Community solar works in the same manner as home arrays with one key difference. Rather than many individual arrays located on homes, communities work together to build one large array. Because the array feeds into the grid, it doesn't need to be located at any one particular person's home. The electricity is sent through the existing power lines requiring no changes to a residence. Because the array is located remotely, those who rent are able to participate in community solar. Similarly, those who do not receive enough sunlight in their homes can also take advantage of the community array. All right, we'll move on now and talk about Sunday's second annual Rock River Revival Parade, uh, the Newfane, South Newfane Williamsville uh, march along Dover Road to commemorate the struggles and triumphs of Vermonters in the face of adversity during Tropical Storm Irene. Now, two years past, uh, this is now it's in its second year, and thus for the second time, hardworking BCTV content manager Jeff Mastrioni will head out to gather multi-camera coverage of the event this year, joined by my often co-captain William Joseph Bushy to get you a little more video footage but in the meantime we've got some clips interviews and clickable links to find out more let's roll it welcome to the first rock river revival parade and we're here to celebrate recovering from irene a year ago today and we're calling it the rock river revival project Sunday, august 25th Starting at noon, come to the Rock River Revival Parade on Dover Road in South Newfane and support the volunteer fire departments of the town of Newfane. I mean, it was horrific what happened to our neighborhood, but the positive side of it was that the community was all out with each other, helping each other. And today feels like the first day that we're back together like a community. It's, it's a wonderful thing. Well, that does it for our BCTV calendar coverage, but uh, make sure you check in with us uh, this coming Monday. Can I even reach this far? 
for the BCTV Weekender. This is our uh, clip that we released with uh, little videos from uh, all of the weekend's happenings. Summing it up, I can see my graphics behind me uh, disappearing. So I'll uh, leave it at that, but be sure to check in with us tomorrow, Friday, uh, on BCTV Channel 8 at 5.45 p.m. for a live broadcast of our full edition of 5.45 Live and next Thursday as well for another edition of our video calendar.